I'm going to run through the required practical, which is the VI characteristics of filament bulbs versus fixed resistors. I've got my power pack here, which I'm just going to be varying the supply potential difference. I've got a voltmeter. Remember, voltmeters go in parallel with the component that you're measuring across, and my ammeter. And I'm just going to collect all my results in my computer. And I'm going to see the VI characteristic graphs that we get. So for the fixed resistor, we have a straight line. Voltage and current are proportional. Potential difference is proportional to the current. That means for an equal change in potential difference, we get an equal change in current. If you double the potential difference, you double the current. Now, a couple of things to say about that practical there. I was just increasing the supply PD by equal amounts, roughly. I wasn't looking for exactly one, two, three, four volts. I just made sure I have a set of results roughly equally spaced so that I can see my straight line. And the other thing to say is that this resistor will have got really, really hot. So if you do do this practical yourself in the lab, make sure that you're aware that you don't touch that resistor once it's been running because it will have got really, really hot. And that heat is a really important thing to understand what is going on with these different shapes of voltage current characteristics, these VI curves, as you'll see in a moment with the lamp. Remember, current causes heating. The heating effect of current is what we're really interested in right here. And the last thing I want to say about that set of results is that the gradient of the graph will be inverse to resistance. So I'm going to use Excel now to get a gradient of the graph, and then one over that, the reciprocal of the gradient, will be the resistance. It should be 4.7 ohms. That's what's marked on the resistor, so let's find out. Yeah, okay, so it's come out at 4.8, so that's quite close. We can say that that resistor is ohmic. That means that throughout a range of potential differences, you get potential difference proportional to current. V equals IR, where R is essentially the coefficient of proportionality. It's the thing which governs the relationship between V and I, and R is fixed throughout that range. We can call that a fixed resistor, or we can call that an ohmic resistor. So now let's go ahead and replace the resistor with the bulb and see if we get the same relationship. Hopefully this time you can see that something else is going on. It isn't, potential difference is proportional to current. For the lamp, something else happens. Now what is going on is that the resistance is changing. Remember I said the gradient of the graph is actually inverse to resistance. So in other words, the steeper the graph, the lower the resistance is. This graph is getting less steep as it goes through the range of potential differences. So what's actually happening is that the resistance is increasing. And the reason for that is because of the temperature is increasing as well. And the reason for that is because of that current causing heating effect. The temperature is increasing as well, so therefore we're getting an increase in the resistance. Because what's going on inside the metal, the metal filament of the lamp, is that actually, as it gets hot, is that as it gets hot, the metal ions are actually getting in the way of the charge trying to flow through it. So that's the practical, that's all it really is. It's the case that you need to be able to describe that method and you need to be able to compare the different graphs. Now I haven't done positives and negatives and I haven't done diodes. This is just a brief introduction of how this practical works and how to analyze the results. And the key conclusions is that for a fixed resistor, the resistance is the same throughout the range of potential differences and you get that straight line graph through the origin Voltage is proportional to current, or potential difference is proportional to current, as I should say. But for a filament bulb, which is a non-ohmic resistor, the resistance actually changes. You get a higher resistance when you have a higher current flowing, and that's because the metal in the filament heats up, and actually the ions vibrate more and then get in the way of the charge carriers. <laughs>